OBS Studio 29.0.1 open source and free software for live streaming and screen recording is now available for download as a hotfix release that addresses several issues discovered in OBS Studio 29. There are several Linux-specific fixes in OBS Studio 29.0.1, including a crash when using Wayland and trying to use the automatic scene switcher, an issue where screen capturing wouldn't work correctly on X11, a bug where overriding the theme could cause OBS Studio to fail to start, as well as a software rendering issue. This release also fixes the NVIDIA Audio Effects SDK is outdated message that appears on the noise reduction filter properties when the SDK isn't installed, as well as a crash that occurred when using NVIDIA's audio effect filters and then uninstalling the SDK. Other fixes include a crash that occurred on startup when the app was minimized, a bug in the custom FFmpeg output mode where RTMP would force some encoders, and a bug where Alpha wouldn't output properly when setting the app to use the BGRA color format. Furthermore, OBS Studio latest update fixes a bug where projectors are washed out when projecting SDR content on an HDR display, fixes an issue with the expander and upward compressor audio filters, and a crash that occurred when using the virtual camera as a source and then changing the canvas resolution. Also fixed is a bug where the profile encoder settings failed to update properly when switching between services that require a different encoder, as well as a bug where the stats window panel displayed an incorrect disk space calculation when pausing recordings. Last, but not least, to improve audio quality, OBS Studio 29.0.1 adds a knee width option to the upward compressor audio filter. For more details, check out the release notes on the project's GitHub page. OBS Studio 29.0.1 is available as a Flatpak app on most new Linux distributions, which you can install right now from Flathub. For Ubuntu users, there's also an official PPA that you can install from the official website. Thank you for watching and if you find this video useful please like, share and subscribe.